come to my class today we are going to analyze a associative building on stack pro with combination load so i first open stack pro click on new project click on space you can give a name and location click on meter and click on it on and click on next okay and click on add beam or you can go to structure wizard then finish it will be a frame model and it will be a frame, frame the length will be 16 meter for 4 rooms divided into 4 the height will be 3 meter the width will be 18 meter for 6 rooms so per room will be 3 meter and the height is one okay for single floor then click on apply we have that building so close it to merge into stack pro then click on yes x y and z that dimension will be zero 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 then click on ok at first we have to create a slab of this building we are going to draw slab by generate surface machine click on generate surface machine and select the corner nodes of the building just click on the corner nodes okay it will it is a quadrantal machine so click on quadrantal machine then click on okay length is 16 meter so division will be 4 length is 18 meter division is 6 as we created the length per length is 3 meter 16 it will be 4 and for 18 it will be 6 then click on apply you can check by plate cursor the total building has been converted into different slabs okay now you have to sub support the columns okay for that go to from view okay go to support create a support it will be fixed support so click fixed and click on add select the support and select the foundation of the columns of the building by node cursor select the nodes or you can go to property at first we give the property we will see advantage in later ok go to property go to define it will be rectangular column will be 500 millimeter by 500 millimeter so 0.5 by 0.5 then click on add beams will be 0 0.35 0 0.35 then click on add now assigned the property into the building select the column property select the columns by select beam parallels to y axis and click on assign to selected beams and click on assign then yes click on beam property now select the beam by select beam parallel to x and select beam parallel to z and then assign to selected node beams then assign then yes and for the beam we go to thickness click on thickness it will be 0.2 for 200 millimeter then click on add then close now select the slabs by plate construct select the slabs select the plate thickness and click on assign to selected plates then assign it then yes now we are going to copy the property in y direction it will be a six seven storied building 
so we are going to copy it in seven story okay so go to geometry cursor by selecting all the properties okay now go to front view select the property now we are going to copy by transitional repeat in y axis it will be 7 story spacing will be 3 meter and click on ok as you can see all the properties we given in one floor has been copied in the 7 floor you can check on the 3d render view see all the property are copied for for this reason we don't give the support property on the column now we give the support property okay go to support page i have created support so select no cursor and select the nodes and click on assign to select nodes then yes now you see all the properties and support has been given now it's time to give load so go to load page click on load case detail click on add loading type will be date time give a title date click on add and live give title live then add then close go to date load in date load it will be a self weight member load and load load click the save load factor will be minus one in the y direction then click on add member load will be minus 10 kN per meter click on add flow load will be minus 4 kN per meter square and have to define the y range what is y range y range is minimum for distance in from the y direction to maximum flow distance to y direction in the y direction so minimum flow is here so double click on the node and you can have the dimension of in y direction it is 3 and the maximum distance of the flow is here so click on the node and it is 24 so minimum 3 maximum 24 then click on add then close it click on self weight it goes to all the building all the structure all the members click on assign to view or assigning the whole structure click on member load and select the members by select beam parallel to x and select beam parallel to z okay now just assign to selected beams assign yes dead loads are assigned now it's time in live load click on live add in the live load just will add flow load it will be minus 2 for residential building define y range y range is same 3 to 24 then click on add then close okay live load is also given now I have to combine the loading for that go to command go to loading to load combination the factor will be 1.5 for date load and live load and available loads are date and life for combination load click on that and click on add and you have the combination load of date and life the factor is 1.5 and close it and you have the combination loads for date and life okay now have to analyze it for then go to comments analyze perform analyze no print ok analyze run analyze save if there is no error no warning then you have all the right things we have done all the right things on the analysis 
so as you can see there is no error no warning so we have done a perfect analysis and click on done okay so that's it and that is how you're gonna analyze a rc building okay so in the next class we are going to find out the reinforcement of the column beams and slabs so keep watching on my channel okay and thank you for watching my video